This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Hey guys, it's the Indie Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. This is the show where we talk with people in and around independent professional wrestling, a lot around the Pittsburgh region, of course, but uh, we're trying to get a little bit of everywhere. But uh, always great when we can get people in studio, and we got a great one here today as well. Uh, but of course, you can check out the Indie Mayhem Show on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, video versions on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, uh, YouTube and Facebook page, and the Indie Wrestling.us uh, page. Uh, as well and live streaming over on IndieWrestling.us Facebook. Um, please uh, hit us up if you have any questions for people that we have announced on the uh, Facebook page events uh, or if you have anybody you want us to talk to. We do take suggestions. Hey, we can't watch all the indie wrestling, guys. There's a lot of it. So please let us know any, anybody hot out there that you think uh, would be a good conversation here for the show. We do get a lot of suggestions um, from that. Uh, a lot of people recently especially have been people uh, suggest to get on the show. Or maybe people we have on the list that we've been tr- meaning to get to. And maybe that bumps them up on the list to maybe actually send a Facebook message and get something lined up. You never know. You never know. Uh, this week I'm really excited uh, to have uh, an extra special person in the in, in the studio. We were actually doing another interview and she happened to tag along. And somebody who... Again, was somewhere on that list, and now we just bumped you up. <laughs> <laughs> London Ali is joining me here in the studio. How you doing? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Good chat. I don't think I've chatted with you yet in general. So, no. hi, I'm I'm Sorg. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, thanks for joining us. Well, so first of all, the icebreaker. What uh, uh, what's your earliest memory of uh, professional wrestling? My first memory, I would say, I was around six, mm-hmm. and it was Survivor Series 2002. 16 years ago. <laughs> Trish Stratus versus Victoria. Victoria. And Victoria was like my first love. Mm-hmm. Like she was just so aggressive and she just did not like Trish. And it made me not like Trish. And like <laughs> <laughs> And I would say my second would be the Mickey James and Trish Stratus obsession feud mm-hmm. and it just sold me. That's awesome. There's some of the, some of the old like that was like the first like women's revolution. Mm-hmm. I think was that bit when they're getting out of the bra and panties and having some serious yes. stuff, right? So that would have been leading into or around about like the Lita Trish stuff too, yes. right? So that, that's a good point. Uh, so you've you've been you've seen the roller coaster, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and of course, thankfully, thankfully coming around um, uh, here these days. Um, that's awesome. So was it a, you know, just the digging on it or, you know, from the start, was that something you wanted to get in the ring to do? I knew I would be a wrestler. I didn't mm-hmm. know how I would get into wrestling or how I would become a wrestler. But ever since those moments, seeing Victoria, Gail Kim, Mickey James, I was sold. So I knew that it would happen, but I was just kind of afraid to like pursue it in a way mm-hmm. because like that's not something that, you know, I'm a pro wrestler. People go, huh? Mm-hmm. And you gotta explain it like they say, like WWE, like TNA, and they say it's a fake. And so I was kind of nervous, but it's my dream. I'm living my dream, so no one could tell me nothing. That's awesome. That's awesome. So how did you go from uh, you know when to be a, to to discovering like indie wrestling and and you know that there were schools. Um, I just did some research. Mm -hmm. I've been doing research since I was like 12. I would like Google like places in like New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York. I'm like, how am I supposed to get down here once a week? (laughs) (laughs) So I'm like, what's in Pennsylvania, in Pittsburgh? Yeah. I Googled a few, Googled a few places. I actually messaged IWC first. They didn't respond. Oh, and, and, wait, and don't tell me which regime, regime it was. <laughs> I'm not sure who I was talking to, but they, they just never responded. That's a story I've heard a lot. <laughs> like, I didn't hear from IWC, so I went over here and did yeah. a thing. Like, well, it, it, it does happen a lot. And, of course, we talked to a lot of people who have gone through that school and everything, too. And success was success, success is there and outside mm-hmm. here in the Pittsburgh area. It, it's really the, the talent coming up 
in this area is is incredible right now. Yes, absolutely. You know, I mean, you see it on Raw. <laughs> <laughs> How many like you know, one of ours, one of ours, one of ours? You know yes. exactly. Um, awesome. So so that transition in the training, because um, you got in this pretty young. Mm-hmm. Um, what was it? Ever, was it everything you expected? I thought I kind of expected more. Mm-hmm. My first day of training. I thought I'm about to be the only girl in here, mm-hmm. which was true, mm-hmm. but um, and I think it's often the case from what yeah. I do <laughs> in general in general schools yeah. at least. I'm thinking everyone's like bodybuilders, like mm-hmm. Batista guys, like Jeff Hardy guys, and everyone was just so normal and like welcoming. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> so I was kind of excited, but it was everything I kind of expected. Mm-hmm. I was already in pretty decent shape, so. I didn't have to be whipped into shape. I just kind of had to transition from being in the gym to actually being in the ring. So that part was kind of challenging. But besides that, I enjoyed it and I love training. Were you coming from like high school athletics of any sort? No. No, just generally you're just a fit person. Yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I would try out for teams yeah. just to see if I can do it yeah. and not show up. <laughs> 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 interesting <laughs> all right uh that's awesome they're just preparing yourself for that day <laughs> when you found the wrestling school right yes. good good um that's awesome what did you start with was it the pwx school yes. is that correct so awesome uh, what brandon k dean radford is training it was right? uh brandon k and crusher hansen crusher hansen yes. okay awesome uh so going from that you know again you know women's wrestling in this area you know is you know maybe a match on the card mm-hmm. and i know i've seen you i other than RWA recently, I think that's the first mm-hmm. women's matches I've like straight women's matches I've seen you in, right? <laughs> yes. You're like you are definitely involved in the intergender scene here. Yes. So tell me a little bit about that and, and kind of like the decision kind of the role with that. Um, when I first started wrestling, you know, everybody wants to be a heel. The mm-hmm. bad guy is the fun guy. Mm-hmm. So that's what I was kinda like ready for. I'm gonna yeah. be a heel. Yeah. And then like a week before I debut, a coach is like, You're a baby face. And I'm like, What? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "You're too flippy." Oh, and <laughs> there's and, um, a, there was air quotes on that for everybody yes. on audio. By the way, <laughs> I want to throw that out there. But um, he had faith in me that I could. I mean, I've always trained with men. Mm-hmm. It was a later a girl came on later in the scene, probably like in my eight months in. But I was always with the guys. Mm-hmm. So he's like, I feel like you would be more comfortable with the guy starting out. And that's the case usually in these in, in training schools, mm-hmm. right? It's like there's one or two girls. They're training with the guys anyways. You know, I, yes. you know uh, the ones I've seen, like Britt Baker was the only one in, in her class mm-hmm. that I'm aware of, right? Uh, and then they go out and they're, they're in the women's division. You know, so, so I guess it does make sense. Um, awesome. So, you know, tell me, tell me about Lynn and Ali. Like, what, what, who is the character that we see when you get out through the curtain? I've seen a couple of renditions. <laughs> London Ali is an urban street badass. Mm-hmm. Just plays by her own rules. I do what I want. I say what I want. Now I just expect people to deal with it. And if they don't want to deal with it, they get dealt with. <laughs> I mean, that's just the reality of it. I don't try to, what's the word, sugarcoat <laughs> anything. Plus, I didn't want to get too gimmicky, if that's mm-hmm. a word. Mm-hmm. I don't think, but it's going to be a word today. But um, <laughs> but um, I just wanted to be me. And I mm-hmm. feel like with my backstory, with things I've been through in my life, that it would be someone can what someone can relate to it. Whether it's a boy, a girl, a grandmother, someone who watches wrestling can relate to me. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, so tell me about your experiences so far. You've been working, of course, I, I think I've seen you in what, PWX and Rise so far, mm-hmm. right? Um, have you been traveling out a bit? Yes. I've okay. actually been, I think, to five states. Mm-hmm. I've been to, well, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Chicago. I'm going to West Virginia this weekend, Tennessee, and there's one more, but I just can't remember. They all kind of mesh. I, <laughs> I use traveling for work myself. They do kind of mesh together yeah, after a while. Yeah, but um, uh, I've <laughs> worked in over 12 promotions. And I think with me, the best thing I could do is travel. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want to be too local and just be like real, like normal. 
I want to be able to like say I fought her, 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 her. And there's not a lot of women in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. so I have to find them. Yeah, I have to find the competition. I have to find opponents, and that's for me to get better. It, it's different because it, it, it's 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 a little tougher to find spots on shows, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, in a way, because I haven't had any like negative reports with any promoters. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like word to mouth with a lot of people. Like I'm not a bad person or I don't blow anyone off. I show up, I put the ring up, mm -hmm. you know, I shake everyone's hand, I show respect. And it just it has gone a long way. So how are you seeing from the, uh, the the experiences you've had so far? How is uh, women's wrestling being represented out there? Now it's it's, it's pretty great. It's pretty great, <laughs> but you know, I think it still has a long way because mm -hmm. I feel like there's still people that want it to go back so they can fit in, but there's also the women that want it to go forward. So now we're playing like a tug of war game, but I feel like within the next five to 10 years that it will definitely get better and the future will be, you know, Charlotte and me headline headlining WrestleMania. So there you go. There you go. Um, and the headline of WrestleMania a yes. note. <laughs> 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 um, that's awesome. It'd be good to have a main event that nobody wants to fall asleep to, uh, <laughs> WrestleMania after seven hours. <laughs> it was long, wasn't it? Was it? Long. <laughs> it was long. It, it feels like it's getting longer every year. Yes. You know, it's like, it's seven hours of main events. It's just like, oh, I can't take another main event. It was like 20 main events. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But it's a conversation for another show. Um, uh, so, oh, so yeah. So, um, you're mentioned you're on rise uh recently in rwa mm -hmm. a women's champion for a bit there as yeah. well um and, and again you, you talked about not coming out of heel but i think you mostly were uh, in rwa a little yeah. bit so i got to see a different <laughs> side of you i like working as a heel mm -hmm. i like showing like my personality off more as a heel and i'm more comfortable doing it mm -hmm. and plus i like making people mad <laughs> So I we I always have this conversation with people I know have worked RWA. Mm -hmm. How about that crowd? <laughs> They're so involved. Yes. Like I've never seen a crowd like it. And mm -hmm. I've been to a few promotions here and there. But um they're just so involved. And it was kind of funny because me being a hill, you know, RWA and PWX and Rise, they're not too far from each other. Mm -hmm. And I first debuted, they cheered. And I'm like, no, I just did something bad. Boo me. And they're just like, it's you. And I'm like, this is not supposed to happen yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. So, a couple of those Rise fans were in there, right? <laughs> yes. Most people who are wrestling fans in like this area, they go to most of the shows. Yeah. So yeah. there's people that I've met at PWX. I see them at Rise. And I see them at RWA. So I'm pretty comfortable with the fans. Mm-hmm. Um, I will, but I do know with RWA, the more you hang out with, uh, uh, Marshall Gambino, the more the, uh, cops might be called <laughs> <laughs> over there. So, um, that's awesome. Uh, so what is, uh, uh, what's kind of inspiring you these days? Anybody out there that you're kind of looking to that, that kind of, or even just has your attention out there maybe on the indies or on the main stage? Um, Yo Kim still has my full attention, but if I can't say <laughs> Gail Kim. <laughs> No, you can say Gail Kim. That's fine. That's um, I would say someone more, you know, recently. Mm -hmm. I would say Nicole Savoy, as well as Mercedes Martinez. Mm -hmm. And I'm a big fan of Ember Moon. That's awesome. And just made the uh, main roster debut yes, this week, I, too. Yes, I've seen that. I was so excited. That was great. I'm glad that I got to shake her hand one time at an AIW <laughs> show. <laughs> uh, that's great. Um and what's the best and worst thing about uh, wrestling so far? The people. I've met some of the greatest people I've ever met in my entire life. Mm -hmm. I've met a lot of new friends, a lot of new fans, and different opinions. And you get to travel and meet different people. And I would say the worst thing is some of the bookers. And Not the promoters, the bookers. Yes. They, well, sometimes they're one in the same, of course. Yeah. But but just that's well, the I should say there. management. Okay. But um, you know, some management isn't, you know, that fair. But you know, mm -hmm. I'm not a, I'm not a brat. I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna work. Whatever you hand me, 
I'm going to turn it into gold and I'm going to go home. Awesome. Awesome. So where can people find you online? You can find me at Facebook at London Ali, L O N D Y N Ali. <laughs> I swear I won't screw it up. <laughs> and my Instagram, London underscore Ali. Awesome. Um, and uh, of course, Rise, you're popping up on, uh, I guess, RWA now too. Yes. Uh, uh, any other promotions generally where you're going to be showing up in the near future people can look out um, for? You just got to wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You, you never, never know. know. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for no this uh, an impromptu interview here today. <laughs> um, and uh, and it's awesome. And, and it, it, there's some good stuff happening, even in women's wrestling. Even mm -hmm. though there's not many, there's there's good ones here in the Pittsburgh area. Yes. And I, I count you amongst that uh, crew as well. It's good to see you in, a, in, a, in the area and uh, filming your matches too. Uh, so, and go check out London Ellie. She's uh, over on IndieWrestling.us. Uh, uh, represented pretty well on there i think uh, across a few shows so far uh so go check her out in action on vod and digital download with rwa and rise wrestling and that's rise with a y yes i keep me i i forget because the other rise is coming to town uh in a couple months and right up the road so brandy k will be so mad at you <laughs> be, I, you know we, one's an all women show i believe and yeah 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 and then there's the promotion that he has mm-hmm yeah, so so them them coming up uh, is definitely an issue. <laughs> it's okay. They're, you know, you, you got to make your own brand. That's, yes, that's that's the thing. And I think that, I think Rise has been really good about um, setting themselves apart in the area and and just in general as their own thing. Absolutely. And so, um, awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, everybody, please go uh, check her out and uh, and and check out our stuff too. All of our past interviews, a lot of great stuff. We're now uh, at IndiaWrestling.us's Twitch channel. Um, we're you can check out London in action here and there <laughs> as well. I know those shows have been popping up in the last uh, couple of weeks here as we've been launching that uh, uh, stream uh, with a bunch of the shows uh, uh, that's included on IndieWrestling.us. And uh, until next time, please support women's indie wrestling. Oh. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.